I recently installed extension rails on my Xtool D1 Pro, so I had to upgrade my honeycomb to a larger one. This is how I did it for cheaper than buying another Xtool version. After installing extension rails onto my X-Tool laser, I knew I needed a larger honeycomb. I looked at X-Tool, but they only offered the smaller size. I already had one and I could have bought another and placed them next to each other in my cutting bed. But then, in the middle of my cutting area, I would have the joint of my two honeycombs. And I didn't want the uneven surface of the joint. In addition, the cost of a second honeycomb at the time was $159 from X-Tool. They have since come down quite a bit due to competition. So I started looking for alternatives and I found one large enough to fit my whole cutting area. And the best part, the price was $134 and they were offering $20 off at the time. I was getting the size of two X-Tool honeycombs for cheaper than the price of one. The one I purchased is currently out of stock at the time of making this video but I have included a few others in the description below which are very comparable to the one I bought. One is from Geekbee and the other is from Neville. Both of these are still cheaper than buying the two X-Tool honeycombs and they often have coupons attached to make them even cheaper. I've included links to both in the description below if you are interested. It came well packaged and resembled the same construction as the smaller one I had purchased from X-Tool. It measures 19.68 inches wide, 37.4 inches long, and has a height of 0.87 inches. Of course, it also came with an aluminum plate to protect my table surface. The one I purchased only has measurements on the X axis, while others, like Geek B, has measurements on both the X and the Y axis. Overall, I'm very happy with the construction of the materials this is made from. It offers a nice flat extended honeycomb, and I can't tell the difference from this compared to the X-Tool, even though it is sold at a much cheaper cost. Although you can use the honeycomb just as it comes, I decided I wanted to affix mine to my laser frame and give it a more permanent orientation to my laser. I bought the honeycomb alignment set from Alive Pixel Creates. It is marked on their website as the Neville Honeycomb Set, but will fit any honeycomb sizes 37.4 inches by 19.68 inches. The corner legs of the laser are placed through the holes of the supports on all four corners. There are two middle supports, which are definitely needed since the honeycomb is so long. After placing all the pieces in place, we place the honeycomb on top. This is where I ran into a few problems. It is important that the honeycomb is flat. Because this is a longer bed, we want to make sure that it doesn't droop in the middle, which would lead to an uneven cut. As you can see, there is a decent gap about 1 8 inch in the middle of the honeycomb once I put the alignment set in place. To combat this, I used an old piece of oak flooring that I had and placed it in the middle of my honeycomb bed space. I then put the honeycomb back on and sure enough, that fixed the gap. Now everything is nice and flat for cutting and my honeycomb is attached and aligned with my laser. Thanks for joining us today. I've included links in the description below for the items that were used in today's video. If you like what you saw, please hit that like and subscribe button so we can get more content out to you. If you didn't like what you saw, smash that thumbs down button twice to really let us have it. Until next time, this is John with That's How We Do It, brought to you by Rustic American Woodworks.